I'm Iris. This is Udre Udre. And this is your Malaysian History Minute on location in Fiji. Behind me is the Pacific Ocean. It has a name in Fijian that I'm not going to try to say because I am sure I will say it wrong. It's also known in English as Bly's Passage. And it was behind me that Captain Bly, the former captain of the famous HMS Bounty, drifted by on his way to East Timor in the Dutch East Indies, about 3,000 miles that way. About a thousand miles that way is Tonga. And it was over there near a small island in Tonga that the mutiny first occurred. On the night of April 28th, 1789, the acting second in command, Christian Fletcher, put Bly and the Loyalists on a boat and sent them drifting this way. It was assumed that Fletcher and the Loyalists would go on to Tahiti, which was where they had just come from, but they went to Pitcairn. That's a whole other story. You know what? Let's cut to the footage of me in the museum with the rudder of the bounty right here, and I'll tell you about Pitcairn right now. Pitcairn was mislabeled on the map, so Fletcher knew that the British would never find them there. So they burned the bounty and set about building a village. But the story of that village, that, that truly is a whole other story. Okay, you're back. Bly and his loyalists drifted by here. They went floating right by. They were close enough that they were able to chart most of the islands in this passageway. But why didn't they land here? You know, to answer that question, let's go to future Iris. Future Iris? Thanks, past Kevin. They were afraid of the Fijians, who were mighty warriors. That's interesting, future Iris. But they were British. They were sailors. They were kind of tough and ready for a fight. So they were really just scared because the Fijians were great warriors? Great question, past Kevin. The, F the Fijians then were also cannibals. This is the grave of Udre Udre, the most famous cannibal chief in Fiji. Say, but this chief there, how many people did he actually eat? Can you tell us, future Iris? Supposedly ate about 800 people, and that's why there's all these stones around the grave. There's one stone for every person that he ate. It was said that... It was said that uh, when people heard the drums, they went running because that meant that the chief was hungry. Thank you, future Iris. That's really interesting. This has been a special edition of Malaysia History Minute on location in Fiji. This is Bly Passage. I'm Kevin. And, and that's, that's your Malaysia, Malaysia History, History Minute. Minute. You know, when I went to Borneo for the first time and my mom learned there were headhunters here, she said, be careful. They're going to think you're Christmas come early. When I told her I was coming here where they used to eat people, she said, oh man, they're not going to know what to do with all of you. That's a joke I made up. My mom did make that joke about my head. Kevin, ignore the other parts. The parts where Iris pointed out how stupid you are. No, wait, sorry, get the door. Sorry, sorry. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs>